Hello friends and thank you so much for stopping by again. My hallway looks really empty and boring so I would like to add a side table to it. I got this beautiful thick piece of walnut here. My total board thick set resin, two metal legs and I can wait to start. So, lass uns anfangen! Let's start by cleaning up the wood. Take a hammer and a chisel to take off the bark. I like to keep the bark for another project, so take it off carefully. Once the bark is off, sand the rest clean. Sanding is a rough job and I wish sanding would be like this. But it feels more like this. Therefore try to make it a little bit more fun with some dancing. After the wood is cleaned up, draw a line close to the middle to split the wood in half. I used a circle or saw to split it. Since the wood is very thick, I did two passes. This will be the shape of the Natural Life Edge Resin River. The wood wasn't all leveled, so I used my planner to clean it up and level it. Now let's take the pieces into my crafts room to pour the resin. I build a form with tuck tape and wood. Just cover everything with tuck tape and use silicone to stick it all together. For the resin, I'm using Total Boat. Like always, if you work with resin, wear your respirator or make sure you work in a well-ventilated area. And you know what's next. Resin dance! Before you start pouring the resin, make sure you apply a thin coat first and let this one dry to a sticky consistency. Doing this will avoid bubbles in the resin later. To apply the resin, I use the foam brush. It's a few hours later now and the thin layer of resin has a sticky consistency. It's time to pour the first thick layer. For the color, I use Total Bold Green Pigment and Mica Powder. Mix it all together. I love the way mica powder looks. It looks like it's alive. Pour the resin into the form. The mica powder will settle throughout the drying process. Take a little wood stick and stir the resin occasionally to swirl up the mica powder. Do this until the resin gets too sticky. Resin naturally heats up when it dries. It's important to not let the resin overheat since this will damage the resin. Make sure you let the previous coat dry just enough before you apply the next coat. For the next layers, I want the resin to be clear. I think this is a great way to display the life edge and it gives the river depth. Use a heat gun to pop the bubbles between coats. Once the resin has fully cured, it's time to take it back to the workshop to straighten the tabletop and take off any extra resin before sanding. To straighten the wood, I'm using my router sled. Sadly, I do not have a workbench that is big enough to support my router sled, so I have to work on the floor. Not ideal, but I think most people don't have a huge workshop to support a big workbench, but you can still do bigger projects in a small workshop. Flatten front and back. After, use your miter saw to square up the edges. 
I have my dust deputy connected to my miter saw, but resin makes a lot of dust, and here you should probably wear your dust mask. Once everything is flat and square, it's time to sand the piece smooth. This will be a lot of sanding, since I started at 80 grit, and I will have to work my way up to 320 grit. After that, I will wet sand the resin part to 1500 grit. After you finished sanding, it's time to attach the table legs. I ordered metal legs from Amazon. To attach the legs, I'm using bolts and threaded inserts. To make sure I pre-drill the correct depth, I stuck a piece of tape to the drill bit as a mark. Add some glue before you screw in the inserts. Here is a close-up. Add the glue and screw in the threaded insert. Make sure you keep the insert as straight as possible. Otherwise you will have issues later once you attach the bolts. At this point I like to apply the finish to the bottom side of the table before I attach the legs. I'm using Rubio Monocoat. Center the leg to the side of the table. Use a bolt to attach the leg. I wish I could have shown how I attached all the screws, but I noticed I did not have enough and I had to order additional screws on Amazon, so I will add those later. It's time for the final finish, the best part of the build. And we are fertig! Please like, comment and subscribe. See you next time. Tschüss!